Hello, scholars. This week we're going to, we're going to create some fall trees using the elements of art, space, texture, and value. What we're going to do first is write our name on the top of the paper, either the left side or the right side, doesn't matter. And then what you're going to do is flip it over. This is going to be horizontal, the paper. Now I'm going to draw the bottom of my trees first. And I'm going to start off with a curve line. Starting from the middle. That's one hill. Now I'm going to draw the second hill on the paper and I'm going to draw hill number three which is going to be above the section. So now I have three hills, three curved lines. I'm going to draw the um, the tree bark. So I just took one, I just have uh, one uh, vertical line, a small horizontal line, and then a vertical line. So I'm drawing a long rectangle. And the branches are One diagonal line and two small diagonal lines. And then and I'm going to draw a rectangle on the left side with two um, diagonal lines. And then two more diagonal lines with a rectangle, a smaller rectangle below. That's my first branch. I'm going to draw one over here. So this is the right side. And I'm going to draw yep, right here. And this one's going to be smaller. Because the pl we want to we want to have the placement in different uh, different areas. This is called space, so we're placing the trees differently. So I just drew a small rectangle, and now I'm drawing a rectangle for the left side, a rectangle for the right side. and a rectangle going up. Okay, so that's branch number two. Now I'm going to draw branch number three. I'm going to do the same side. So I'm going to do the same thing. Rectangle, starting off with the branch. Then I'm going to draw a rectangle this way and then I'm going to draw a rectangle going up sideways then I'm going to draw another rectangle going up sideways this is the left side and now I'm going to draw a rectangle going to the side okay now I'm going to draw my next uh, bark tree this one, I'm only doing four. So I'm going to just make it super big. 
not as big as this, but bigger than these two. And then I'm going to go down. So we're going to start off with a rectangle. Then we're going to make another rectangle on the side. Another rectangle on the top. And a rectangle on the right side with two diagonal lines. Okay, so here is the the bark. This is the hills. Now inside the hills, I'm going to make some lines. So all I'm going to do is, and I'm going to start off with my marker. I'm going to use a pencil for this. But I, it's easier for me to draw with a, with a marker. You're going to start outlining the sections with with black, brown, gray, or purple. And I'm just taking my time and I'm gonna also show you now the curved lines. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make them curved. So I'm just going up. and space out the curved lines. You're doing this with a pencil first. You're not going to use the marker first. I'm or the black first. I only did that to show you how that would look if it was outlined. So we're just making the texture of the hills. Okay, and now we're going to, and this one's going to have um, some curved lines too, but I really want to make sure that I, so you can, you can make the trees brown or black. I chose black. Okay, so now this is outlined. I'm going to outline this one and color in this tree. Now I'm not going to finish the outline on the top because I really want to show you how to do the curve lines with the trees, with the outline slash color, color you're going to use for the bark. Okay. So see I'm just going inside. And you could just go over it with a pencil and then with the outline color. And that's and that is the curve lines. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish outlining and then we're going to move on to the fun part of the project, which are the trees. Now here's the fun part. Um, what you're going to do with your trees is you're going to create some circles using the fall colors, fall colors, the yellow, brown, green, red, orange. Try, or you could just use the three warm colors, which are orange, yellow, and red. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to make a Let's make a medium-sized tree. 
And I have a circle stencil. I have to use a circle stencil, but I'm going to use one. And what I'm going to do is start off with red. And you're going to make a circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. And what you're going to do is once you make your circle, you're going to go in and keep circling around the area to make a big red circle. So now I'm going to show you exactly how to how to create the circles evenly. So you're going to draw a circle and see what I'm doing with my crayon. I'm just going. I'll need that in there. And look, we're going to just keep making the circle around and around and around. It doesn't have to be me either. Look. Um, then I'm going to take my orange because it's a full color. And look, I'm just going around. Going around. And then I have my yellow next. Going around inside of the circle. Take a little bit of brown too. And that is your full tree. And now I'm going to create another tree using just the two colors, orange and yellow. And let's do, yep, this is fine. And see, I'm just going in and circling around with the orange. And now I'm gonna circle around with the yellow. And that's how you create your tree. You create your tree by circling around. It's okay if you have, a, if you have some white spots. So here, And here is your trees. Now I'm going to color the bottom of this, the hills. The three warm comes orange, yellow, and red. These are the three warm colors. Um, down here, I'm going to start off with orange. And with your supply, markers, crayons, or color pencils. You're going to color everything. And now I'm going to color the, yep, the red. So just be careful when you're coloring because you don't want to get onto the trees. And just quick.
Okay, just make sure that everything is colored. And the last part, what I'm going to do is color the bottom orange, I mean, yellow. Yes, I did color the bottom orange, but this part I'm going to color yellow. And if it's easier for you, you could take the marker, color pencil, crayon, and just go one curve line at a time inside of the hill. Make sure everything is colored. And see, I'm just taking the marker and going back and forth to make sure there's no white spots in the drawing. And now what I'm going to do is the background, which I started, which is going to be the blue. So you're going to color everything in the background blue, and then you'll be done with your project. Here is the project fully completed with the blue background. So I used the warm colors in this project. I use the element of value with the tree branches. And I have used texture for the leaves of the tree and the lines in the bottom, and these are the leaves for texture.